Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another edition of Eric's Corner with the Word of the Not So Wise. I surprised you're still with me, but if you are, great. If not, that's fine also. Um, today, we're going to talk about um, the fad of having to have that viral video. Uh, I've discussed it before. I'm not going to try and provoke a situation to make a video to try and get Internet fame like the crazy plane lady has been accused of. Um, all these people faking these, uh, I mentioned before, this child abduction plot that was against her trying to get social media fame. But I, I really do not understand why police officers are the bear to poke. Like, oh, let me crack my window this far. Oh, why, why am I being detained? Am I being detained? Am I free to go? Jesus Christ, dude, just just answer their questions. Hey, if you were caught speeding, just take your speeding ticket. Um, you would ask, um, why are people doing this? Well, you're doing it hoping they beat the shit out of you so you can sue them and make free money. And it doesn't work almost every time. I mean, a few people um, cash in on that gold nugget, but it's pretty far and few in between, I promise you. Um, you know, I got pulled over by a cop or a state trooper, actually, which I like the state troopers far more than I do city cops because they're not traffic enforcement, and they're usually pretty cool. Um, like, I came around uh, up over a hill and the, smashed the brakes, flipped the lights on. I looked down. I was only doing like four miles an hour over the speed limit. I was like, what? Is he coming after me? I'm like, oh, okay. No, okay, cool. I'm sure he's after me. So I slowed down, and he pulled me over. I had a lark with me, and I uh, pulled over. He's like, oh, you know, do you know how fast you were going? I was like, I don't know, 50? And I was like, maybe, was I in a 35 zone? And he's like, uh, no, uh, 51. It's, uh, you know what the speed limit here is here on the North Fork or, or the, uh, the East End Road? He misspoke. And I was like, uh, I'm 45. He's like, yeah. I was like, you're pulling me over for six miles an hour over the speed limit. I mean, I religiously do four miles an hour over the speed limit because if you're doing the speed limit, you look suspicious. So just do a little over um, or go with the flow of traffic. And, um, oh, do you, you give me your information? Cool. All right, cool. I was wrong. I mean, if you're one mile an hour over, they can bust you speeding. And um, give them information and my uh, um, insurance was expired, which I knew. But I was hoping they could like look that up, which I guess they can't anymore. Um, so I called real quick and called the insurance company and had them email it to me. And he said, okay, cool. I'm going to go run your plates and all that good stuff. Um, if when you get your uh, insurance information, just stick your hand out the window. Do not get out of the car. Okay. So called within a minute and a half. I had my insurance information, you know, raise my hand, you know, teacher, <laughs> come over here got out and um, handed me back my paperwork. He looked, said, okay, 2010 Tundra. Okay, cool. Just slow it down for me a little bit. I said, okay, cool. And I was on my way. I mean, there's no reason to provoke the situation. And well, I have my kid in the car and blah, blah, blah. And I just do not understand why everybody has to try to go for that Facebook fame. It, it's not necessary. Stop trying. I'm not saying cops are always right. They're wrong a lot, but trying to provoke them to be wrong it has not worked one time. I've not, I mean, I've seen very few videos of people trying to provoke them and it not working and a lot of videos of them provoking them and it working. Well, what do you think happens more often? I said in other videos, there's millions of hours per minute of cops being filmed and you're cherry picking. The, the ones where they're very wrong or things escalate very quickly go viral. Well, because the ones where it doesn't happen are boring and you don't even post or you delete them. Oh, well, shit, I couldn't provoke a situation. Um, and this this heckling police officers and getting real close, shoving a camera in their face. Oh, what am I allowed to do? And blah, blah, blah. Jesus fucking Christ. Just stop. OK, it it's so played out. It just, oh, I'm going to fly a drone over a police station. Why are you doing this? Oh, what rights am I being? To vi you're violating my rights. You're acting weird. Do you not understand that people will sit outside a bank and watch what they're doing and, and, and write down when there are money deliveries? It's called casing the joint or whatever you kids are calling it these days. Just 
I mean, it's not usual behavior. Carrying an AR-15 around is not usual behavior. I mean, a cop approaches you said, oh, okay, can I see identification? Yes, you carry a gun. You have to have ID on you. When challenged by police officers, you have to present ID. Enough with the fucking bullshit. Yes, I'm not saying that they're always right. I saw a dude that had a cane was like, it's a cane. Well, where's ID? No, fuck you. I'm not giving you ID. I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, yes, you do. No, no, he didn't. Like, she was completely wrong. Again, she, female officer, that I said have no business being fucking law enforcement. Uh, uh, this girl, um, ah, uh, shoot, I'm not sure if I want to go into this or not, but, uh, this girl, uh, Thine that I served with in, in the Navy, uh, got out and went to be, uh, a local cop in Newport News, uh, Virginia, or it might've been, um, it might've been Norfolk PD. I'm not sure who exactly she went to work for, but she was on the beat like eight months and, I don't know, something happened, um, something went down and she got drugged by a car and ran over or something. And I mean, she was a pretty, pretty awesome, pretty awesome chick. I mean, I, I liked her. I mean, we kind of got into it a few times because, you know, she's a girl and a lesbian and she had to challenge my position as an alpha male and well, whatever, whatever. She was a, a good person and um, so on and so forth. But um, I mean, I, I'd have told you, you have no business being law enforcement. You have no business outranking me in the military. None whatsoever. Um, so people of the internet, knock it off with provoking people. I mean, if if you want to do something like that, I, I would be happy to have a police officer uh, join me here um, for an interview, which I, I actually I'm going to look into that uh, for an interview here soon. Um, just uh, kind of get their take on it. And they've been caught in the middle. They've been tasked with protecting the government. And that's not their job. Their job, I mean, if you want to protest and go after the politicians for whatever reason, I'm not saying do it. I'm saying if it happens, um, it, they, they really actually have no power to detain you. They just have more weapons and i think wink wink nudge nudge y'all need to walk the fuck away um but anyway that's me on provoking a situation and knock the bullshit off and the fake videos and trying to you know again the so uh, the the fitness influencers trying to catch people being creepy and they just take this very vague glance in their direction and you know or a girl breastfeeding and i mean i've been out with my wife and she's breastfeeding our kid it's like okay we dip back into a fucking clothing rack and just kind of be discreet about it like sit there in the middle of a mall like oh say something i'm i'm ready and just like well what the fuck why are you get away from me <laughs> so anyway that's this episode uh thank you for joining me um i'm gonna crank out at least a couple more videos between today and tomorrow i think and have a good night thank you for joining me